In this video, we're looking at proportions and similar figures. So we're going to take a look at similar triangles, uh, how to find the side, the length of the length of one triangle, and then similar rectangles and how to find the length of the side of a rectangle. Okay. So what does similar figure mean? What it means if similar, if if, if figures are similar, it means they're the, of the same shape. Okay, same shape, but different size. Okay, that's what a similar figure is. So, for example, these are two similar triangles, the green one and the purple one. Um, and you'll notice that they're both right angles. This angle should be the same, and this angle should be the same as this angle. So they have all the same angles, and that means they're just exactly the same shape. Only difference is this one is bigger than this one, okay? Now, proportions in similar figures. There are proportions in similar figures. What does that mean? This is what it means. If you take the, this length here, 5, okay? 5 over 3 is equal to, this over this is equal to the 10 over the 6, okay? Because what it's saying is if the shapes... Are, if the figures are of the, exactly the same shape with the same angles, then you can form purport, a proportion from the ratio of the lengths of any two sides. Okay, just like this: five over three, three equals ten over six. And if we put this in lowest terms, two into ten goes five times, two into six goes three times. So we have five over three equals five over three. That that makes sense, doesn't it? And there's lots of proportions we can find with these two triangles. We could do 3 over 4. This side over this side equals this side over this side. That's equal to 6 over 8. Okay. And if you put this in those terms, 2 into 6 is 3 times, 2 into 8 goes 4 times. And so we have 3 quarters equals 3 quarters. Okay, so there's all sorts of proportions we can find with these two. You could also do something like 4 over 5. 4 over 5 equals what? With this triangle. This side over this side equals 8 over 10, right? Okay, so there are similar triangles. And, of course, uh, what does not similar mean? Not similar means um, different shapes. So you could have a triangle that was 4, 3, 5, and then one that was, um, let's say, 8, and then 9. Uh, 8, 9, and then this wouldn't be 10, it would be something else, let's say, just for fun, it was 11, something like that. And, you know, these are just not the same shape at all. And so, you cannot form proportions if they're not the same shape, okay? So, not similar just means not the same shape. Now, if we have two um, triangles, and we are told that they are of exactly the same shape, which means, you know, they're both right angle, for example, and this angle is the same as this angle, and this angle is the same size as this angle. Um, if you're told that they are definitely similar, then you can form a proportion with the lengths of the sides. For example, we could say 12 over 5 equals, what do you think? This side over this side equals this side over this side, right? X over 10. And now how would you find X? Well cross multiply right so if you cross multiply 5 times x 5x equals 12 times 10 12 times 10 or 120 then just divide both sides by 5 and we have x equals and 5 to 5 goes once 5 to 10 goes twice 12 times 2 is 24 okay so this the length of this height here would be 24 and that should work out. So, you know, 12 over 5 should be equal to, check the, the original equation, 24 over 10. And you should find that to be correct. 2 into 10 goes 5 times. 2 into 24 goes 12 times. Okay. Let's have a look at similar rectangles. Um, it's the same as the triangles. If this rectangle is and by the way with a rectangle of course all the corners are perfect they're 90 degrees they're all right angles obviously okay um 
if this rectangle is similar to this rectangle, well, all rectangles, well, not all rectangles are similar, by the way, but, but these two are, and um, because, for example, 10 over 25, this length over this length is equal to 2 over 5, 2 over 5, this length over this length. Now, um, when we simplify that, 5 to 10 goes twice, 5 to 25 goes 5 times, so we have 2 fifths equals 2 fifths. So, you know, they are similar rectangles. Now, rectangles aren't always similar. You could have one shape like this, okay, and that could be, say, 2, 10, and then you could have one shape like this, um, you know, 3, 4, you know. So, obviously, rectangles aren't always similar. These are definitely not going to give you a proportion, you know, two fractions equal to each other. These are not similar, obviously, okay? So these are not similar. Now, if you are told you have two rectangles, and they are definitely similar, then you can form a proportion with the lengths of the sides, and solve for the missing side length. So, press pause and see if you can figure this one out. We could say that this length over this length, for example, 6 over 15, is equal to what? So it's the small length over the large um, uh, side length equals the small side length, x, over the large side length, 9, right? And now solve for x, just need to cross multiply, and we have 15x equals 6 times 9, and now solve for x. Divide both sides by 15. And we have x equals. And now, you could do this for fun. 3 to 6 goes twice. 3 to 15 goes 5 times. And 2 times 9 is 18 over 5. And if you put that in the calculator, um, the, okay, well, it's 18 over 5. Let's also give it as a mixed number and as a decimal. 5 and 18 goes uh, 3 times, and 3 remainder, so 3 and 3 fifths, or as a decimal, that would be 3.6, okay? Oh, we can check our answer, because we should have, obviously, that 6 over 15 equals 3.6 over 9, okay? And just plug both into a calculator, and they should give you the same thing. Now, go ahead and do this <coughs> example here. You've got two similar triangles. You've got to find the length of the unknown side here. So go ahead and solve that little example. Press pause. And now I'll do it. We're solving for side A. They're, you're told they're both similar, so A over 34. The long side over this side equals the long side over the little side, 30 over 16. Now cross multiply, and we have um, 16a equals 34 times 30, and then divide by 16 on both sides, and I can do this, um, let's see. Sorry for the break in the video, I'm just going to continue it here though. So. Uh, we divide both sides by 16, and we can now, um, we've got a number times a number divided by something, so we can actually cross-cancel here. So, um, 2 into 16 goes 8 times, 2 into 30 goes 15 times, right? And then you can go 2 into 8 goes 4 times, 2 into 3 goes once, remainder 1. 2 into 14 goes 7 times. So we have 17 times 15 over 4. And we can multiply those. 17, 15. Multiply. 5 times 7, 35. Put down 5, carry 3. 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 is 8. Put down a 0. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1, and add, right? So we have A equals 255 over 4, 
and we can do um, we can divide now 4 into 255 4 into 25 goes 6 times what's the remainder remainder 1 goes 3 times and we've got to add on some decimal points here so remainder 3 4 into 30 goes 7 times remainder 2 and 4 into 20 goes 5 times so 63.75 so A equals 63.75